guys, welcome back. I'm Joey and this is Tackle Warehouse. First look at iCast, we're live. And I'm excited because here in the Evergreen booth, it's a Joey sandwich. I'm here with Cody Meyer and Brett Hyatt. Guys, thanks for joining us. Brett, we're here in the Evergreen booth. You excited to talk about some new stuff? Yeah, we got some cool new products, you know, that uh, Cody and I have both been catching a lot of big fish on this year. And, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to show the world. And, uh, you know, I mean, these are going to be available real soon. So uh, you guys are going to be able to get them right now. We're excited about it. You know, first off, we've got another skirted bait, right, from Evergreen. Um, we already know the impact that the jackhammer has had on the market. So just hearing that guys are continually catching their new PB on it. So tell us about the new swim jig here. Yeah, it's an Evergreen Grass Ripper. Um, you know, you saw me at Harris Chain a couple, maybe a month ago, catch a bunch of big fish on it. Saw Cody at Potomac on it. So it uh, definitely has a unique wedge head shape design. We got it in quarter, three-eighths and a half. Um, and, it, you know, this was a JDM head design, but we did a bunch of tweaking to it, put the jackhammer hook in, in it, so it has the four-out Gamagatsu hook, has a double trailer keeper. And what's cool, um, you know, for you guys that love throwing the jackhammer, we have it in 10 jackhammer colors. So if you're catching them on a B-Height Delight jackhammer, you can go right to a B-Height Delight uh, grass ripper. So it's just kind of effortlessly and seamlessly um, just switch back and forth between a swim jig and the jackhammer. That's really awesome. I mean, it, it, like you alluded to, already a proven national level tournament fish catcher in some well-known colors. Uh, it, it's got a really unique head design on there. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of got a wedge shape um, and then it has a flat spot. So it actually skips really, really well. But with that wedge shape, I mean, it's amazing how good it goes through the cover. And just with that, I mean, that Gamagatsu hook is just such a proven hook on the jackhammer we had to we had to bring it into this uh this bait here yeah you know it looks like the uh the the hook guard's still on there keeping your fingers that's right keeping your fingers safe there uh cody have you had a lot of time with this with this swim jig so far and and how are you how are you putting it to work you know i have so um we we got this bait earlier this spring actually a couple last year but this year uh, the 2021 event on the Potomac River, caught him on the jackhammer, caught him on the grass ripper. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, attention to detail is all there, you know, hand tied skirt, like Brett mentioned, but I love the weed guard as well, guys. So a lot of the problems on a swim jig you get is too stiff of a weed guard or too thin. This is a perfect combination. When those fish come up, you know, you could throw this on braid, of course, you could throw it on a fluorocarbon. You can just lean into these fish and you really got them. Uh, like Brett said, a phenomenal hook, but that skirt's not coming off. Uh, very versatile. I love, you know, something like the, the Yamamoto Zako paddle tail on there and uh, just a dynamite bait. But Brett mentioned it too, you know, swim jig. I like a jig that I can take, I can reel it through grass. You know, if I come to a laydown, I can pitch that, that swim jig up to a laydown and fish it like a jig. And this is a, a do it all swim jig. You know, I know Brett had a, a huge, um, piece here on designing this you really nailed it so i'm excited about this you know being from california swim jigs aren't as popular let's say as alabama so this is uh, going to make me a better swim jig fisherman really excited about it confident it's built to last and uh, definitely going to catch a ton of fish on this guy such a cool new design really unique design in a swim jig and like you said the piece about the uh, about the weed guard there that's something that not everyone thinks about and it really does have to be perfect uh for on, especially on a swim jig it's, sure. it's a really u unique application there uh one question before we move on yeah you straight reeler or the alabama shake when you're throwing a swim jig so i am both okay so straight reeler when i'm doing more of a uh bluegill you know like the bee height delight with the paddle tail zako on there i'm a shaker when there's a shad spawn you know so maybe you're skipping under a dock you're going with the all white uh maybe maybe something like that then i'm a more of a shaker or you're trying to keep it up on top of grass so you know it's funny when you see a guy shaking it in alabama but it's deadly when there's that shad spawn and you're trying to get it quickly over the top of grass same question for you, Alabama shake or straight reel? You know, I'm a, I'm a straight reel guy. I like putting that paddle tail Zocco on there. And 
pretty much fishing it just like I would the jackhammer, you know. When it comes to a clump of grass, you know, I'll pop it out of there, you know, maybe kill it a little bit, and then just reel it like I'd be reeling a, a like a, a swim bait, you know, just real slow. And then, you know, just depending on how, how high that vegetation is, you know, switching from the quarter, three-eighths to a half, just so it's ticking that grass, that's, that's the key for me. Contact is so important with so many baits. Uh, swim jig, no exception. Check this out, it's the new Evergreen Grass Ripper Swim Jig, available for pre-order now on the site. And, but that's not all we got from, from no. Evergreen, right? We, no. got, we got some new crankbaits, isn't that right, Cody? We do. We actually, we have uh, the same crankbait, but some new colors. So what we did, we took um, the Evergreen CR Series. So we have it in a six, an eight, a 10, 13 and a 16 and to me guys this is a really versatile crankbait and the um, the way I, I i determine what size is really the the depth i'm fishing but you know a lot of guys let's say lake gunnersville tva they love this six for ripping out of the grass it's a versatile bait like i say it's really good in grass it fishes great through grass uh, of course rock structure all the way up to the 16 the deal with it is it's a it's not a huge crankbait but it's so easy to fish Joey. like there's some crankbaits that you wind five or six times and you're wore out this is one that you can fish all day um, and have a lot of success on and with the weight transfer system in there let me show you a, a different color here you're going to really be able to cast this a long ways you're going to see when you when you pull this crankbait back and you sling it forward you're going to get that maximum distance and crankbait fishing making contact with the structure that's really important so what we did 2021 iCast we introduced new colors Brett and I talked about this all spring colors that we thought were really important to the CR starting with um, the skeleton Wagasaki we wanted that really clear uh, color for that clear water situation we have a hologram Wagasaki you know maybe you want that ultimate flash uh, just looks really good. We have this in different baits. It's been a really good color. We have a uh, half mirror shad. So this is similar to the skeleton Wagasaki. You're going to see this silver insert, not an insert, silver uh, flash on there, but really cool. You know, maybe you're, you're in that clear water. You're burning it pretty fast. This is going to be a money bait. Um, also, when I see this, I'm thinking St. Clair smallmouth. We have the Oki Gold. We have the Oki Chartreuse, you know, really looks like a yellow perch, but two different colors that you really don't see out there. Again, all these available in the whole lineup, uh, but we also have three more. So we did uh, pre-spawn dynamite, excellent color, you know, for that pre-spawn, of course, small mouth. It's really gonna get that, that crawdad look to it, you know, absolutely money. Pumpkin seed, you know, I, I'm thinking small mouth on this too. They like that, that red color, but that pumpkin seed, you don't see too many crankbaits in this color, but when they're really on that pumpkin seed, definitely a dynamite color, last but not least. So height turned me onto this, cold shad. This is by far my favorite color in the flat force. You know, this is an absolute money color. So why not add it in the CR lineup? But uh, again, this has been probably my favorite color evergreen has had in the crankbait love it in this but eight new colors in the whole cr lineup from 6 to 16 and uh you guys for me you haven't tried this make sure you check out this crankbait but uh check out these new colors too definitely and and really the first message there check out this new crankbait i really think this is still an under the radar yes. crankbait yes. and and uh if you haven't tried the new or not new but the the evergreen cr crank series uh you're missing out and and some great new clear water colors yes. which no surprise coming from you two guys but but also some great really bold colors too yeah uh Brett, is this is this something that you're looking at as mostly a, a, a grass crank a wintertime crank where are you applying this so i mean like let's just say <laughs> Lake Havasu, I catch a ton of fish on this. And what I think like the viewers need to know, it's not a real wide wobble crankbait. That's why it reels so easy. It has a real natural swimming action to it. That's why, I mean, it, it's easy to crank. It casts a mile. So you can take this smaller crankbait and in the wind and just just smoke it in the wind. I mean, it, it, it absolutely casts a mile, but just kind of that subtle natural swimming action is really um, what's amazing about this crankbait and, and it's so underestimated 
and I, I think people really need to understand how, how good a fish catcher this thing is, whether it's the olive crawl, cold shad, and all these new colors that we've added to it. I, I mean, it, it's, it's a crankbait you can use all year long and it catches fish. That's great. That's really cool. Great new colors available in the, in the Evergreen CR crankbait, the whole series, uh, and those are available for pre-order now on the site. So up next, we've got uh, a really cool buzz bait that's actually been out. It was a classic release. Yes. Um, but we're, we definitely need to talk about this because this is a very exciting little, little buzzer. Yes. Yes, Evergreen Loud Buzz. So it was actually in the new product showcase at ICAST here as well, but came out at the Classic. This buzz bait for me, guys, has been absolutely incredible. For starters, you know, you're going to see the keel here on the head. And, um, you know, one thing about a buzz bait, when conventional buzz baits, when you're winding them, they're off to the left, they're off to the right, whatever they might be, they drive me nuts. So that keel shape, uh, really gets it running true every single time. That to me is a really big deal. Also, you can see the size of this blade and the bead up above the blade here. So you're going through grass, it's gonna really help keep grass out of that blade. So when that bait is in the strike zone, you know, you're gonna have a, a, that fish not have this bait foul up. So that's a big deal. But the blade, the name, Loud Buzz, this thing is extremely loud. And something I love about it, Joey, is you can fish it really, really slow. So, so there's some buzz baits you got to burn across the surface to get that action, to get that sound. With Evergreen here, uh, the loud buzz, you could fish it slow through the strike zone. Maybe there's a big stump. You want to really <clears throat> creep it by that stump, you're going to be able to do that. Uh, again, I'll have Brett talk about some of the color selection here, but hand-tied skirt. Uh, and look how far back the hook is. It's a premium hook. So you see a lot of buzz baits, maybe with a, a toad style soft plastic on there, where the hook point is so close to the blade, you miss a lot of fish. No trailer hook needed for this guy. You're gonna have a big bite area for this fish. A heavy gauge wire, uh, you could throw it on braid, heavy fluorocarbon, but the Evergreen Loud Buzz is really cool. I feel like it's been a while since we've talked about a really awesome buzz bait and Evergreen really nailed it with this loud buzz. Have Brett talk about some of the colors and stuff, but definitely a dynamite bait. Absolutely. I uh, am notorious for being a sample stealer in the office. <laughs> and Corey's behind the camera going, yes. This is one that we were having big fights on in the office before they came out. Hey, Corey's uh, probably got more than Brett or I, right? Corey, more of Corey has a bigger tackle problem than I do. Yeah. But I, I do want to kick this over to Brett because Brett, did, I mean, that's a Brett Height signature skirt color on there. And I know you've put some work in on this on this buzzer. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're, we're just trying to kind of go seamlessly through from top water to kind of, you know, aggressive fishing to a swim jig. Uh, I mean, I was like, why hasn't anybody ever come out with a green pumpkin buzz bait? I mean, it's the it's like the best all around color. So we got eight really, really good colors in this from shad to a bee height delight. And, you know, we kind of switched up the blades. We got like this has an anodized black blade. We got silver blades. We have a white bladed one on the, on the shad. Um, you know, I mean, just using those colors that guys have confidence in. I mean, they like, they love bee height delight. They like a fire crawl. They, I mean, chartreuse shad. So, I, I mean, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a creature of habit and it's like, you know, what's my favorite color? And I always seem to pick that out of my box. We've got a black on black one for those guys, you know, love a black buzz bait, but we, we want to get where those guys, they, they're in love with a certain jackhammer color. You can pick it up in the loud, be, loud buzz or in the, the grass ripper. You know, for years, my, my favorite buzzbait color was a gold blade and a green pumpkin skirt, and I had to make them myself yep. because nobody, nope. made it. nobody made it. So uh, great attention to detail there. A really cool buzzbait, uh, and, and and that guy is already available. That, that was a release a few months ago. Yep. So get on Tackle Warehouse and get that guy now. It, it's the loud buzz, right? The loud buzz. It's a, it's a, by the way, it's a 3 8 ounce, so, but it really casts phenomenally well with that big blade. And just like Cody said, you can burn it or really slow it down, you know, in those early months or late fall when those fish are a little bit more lethargic. Awesome. Great info, Brett. Uh, we do have one last product from Evergreen to talk about, and, and that's a new size in one of my favorite schooling fish topwaters. I know it's yours. You've 
probably won a lot of money on this guy. Uh, so it, new from Evergreen, it's the it's the SB and it's the 77 size, right? Available for pre-order on TackleWarehouse.com. Yeah, you know, so it, it's just uh, so many people are, are familiar with the the SB, aka the shower blows. Um, <laughs> we all know it as that, but. Uh, so yeah, it's a 77 size. It has two hooks instead of three. Still going to come with the uh, the feathered treble hook. Um, and what's awesome about this bait, you know, when those fish get on that small bait, it is so hard to match that. You know, when they really get on that tiny bait, I mean, you get four and five pounders just blowing up, and you know, there's not too many baits that are this size. And what's nice about this, with the tail weight, just like in the regular SB you can cast this one a long ways for being a small bait. And then of course it has that cup lip. It's gonna spit water depending on how, how hard you twitch it. It can be super subtle or it can be loud at, at the same time. We have it in eight, eight new colors and a couple exclusive colors that are specifically just for the 777. Like this beautiful one with a little hologram, kind of a ghost Wagasaki color, but just an awesome, kind of a finesse when those fish get on that small bait, whether they're boiling or just, uh, you know, at a shad spawn or something like that. Very cool. Uh, yeah, like you said, a, a host of, of good fish catching colors for when the bait's real small. It, is that primarily when you're going to this bait, Co Cody? And also, can you tell us a little bit about how you're changing your tackle, uh, you know, downsizing on a, uh, on a, on a top water here, you go into your popper style tackle. Yeah. So, um, I agree. I mean, Brett nailed it with the, with the downsizing in the bait, you know, Lake Lanier prime example, they're on blueback herring in the fall. They get on this little thread fin shad. Um, they eat this thing up because it has the same great action. You Brett mentioned it, a fish come up schooling a long ways away. You could really bomb it out there with this bait. Now, how I personally like to throw this is on a smaller braid, maybe a 30 pound braid. Uh, some guys will go to a fluorocarbon leader, but I just like a straight J braid, Daiwa 30 pound braid, uh, you know, a smaller rod, maybe that 7.3 uh, glass rod to uh, a medium heavy rod high gear ratio reel, you can really bomb that out there. <clears throat> also, when you see this 7.7.7, 7. 7, Spotted Bass, Lake Nacimento, California, Lanier, Smith Lake, whatever it be, and smallmouth. This is a killer for Spotted Bass and smallmouth. They might be a little resistant to eating that 125 size, that 105 size, uh, but they're gonna gobble this guy up right here. So again, some great colors, you know, you think about those Herring Lakes, Smith Lake, stuff like that. Uh, you love the chrome, you love the bone. We also have that in that, but like Brett mentioned, a couple exclusive colors, but Joey, I mean, I know you like fishing the Nasimenos. I mean, this is, this is gonna be absolutely money, especially this fall. Uh, when they're when they're on that small bait and because the shower blows like you say the tail weight you can launch it out there You can reach those fish nothing drives me crazier Than when they're just out of reach when they come up schooling This is a bait to whip over there plus with evergreen, you know You got the right split rings you got the right hooks out of the package. It's a tournament ready bait uh, ready to go You talked about being able to reach those fish. That's where the SB comes in for me is when I can't reach it with a typical walking bait, sure. that's when I pick this bait up because I'm going to be able to cast it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to cast all the line out of my reel and reach those fish for sure. that came up uh, schooling. So again, this is the Evergreen SB 77.7? 77.7. That's specific. Triple seven. How good luck is Triple that? Triple seven. Yeah. yeah. Hey. You can't, you, can't, you can't not win with it. You can't, you can't not win. So. Uh, these are available for pre-order on the site now. Check them out at Tackle Warehouse. This has been Tackle Warehouse first look at ICAST. My name is Joey. I'm the Joey Sandwich. This is Mr. Brett Height. Brett, thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. And Mr. Cody Meyer. Thanks for having us, guys. Check us out next time. <laughs>